Hello and welcome to part 3 of our tutorials on circle theorems. In this tutorial we'll look at the two remaining theorems as well as a mix of circle theorem questions. So what have we done in part 1 and part 2? Well, we've looked at five circle theorems and one key angle fact. We've also kept this image as a reminder of the keywords associated with circles. So let's move on to our next circle theorem. This circle theorem states, tangents from a point have equal length. If we have a point outside of our circle and connect two tangents, they would be the same length. We can draw in our radii to show the tangents. Here you can see we have a pair of equal length radii and another pair of equal length tangents, thus making a kite with angles of 90 degrees. This is our next circle theorem, so let's apply it to a question. This question states that B and D are points on the circumference of the circle with a centre O. We know A to B is a tangent and A to D is a tangent. We're also given the angle D to A to B as 50 degrees. We're asked to work out the angle D to O to B and give a reason for each stage in our working out. Why don't you give it a try and press pause if you need. Here you can see we have a tangent meeting the radius, so therefore angle A, D, O is 90 degrees. We also have another tangent meeting a radius, so therefore angle A, B, O is also 90 degrees. This is because tangents meet the radius at 90 degrees. Now we can calculate angle D, O, B. We have a quadrilateral, so it's simply 360 subtract our 90, subtract our 90, subtract our 50, giving us a final answer for DOB being 130 degrees. And this is because the angles in a quadrilateral sum to 360 degrees. Now let's look at a harder exam question using the circle theorem. It states P, Q, R and S are points on the circumference of a circle with a centre O. We know A to P to B, B, Q to C, C, R to D, and D, S to A are tangents to the circle. It states that A to B to C to D is a kite. It states that P, A, S makes angle 2X, Q, C, R makes angle Y. The question wants us to find an expression in terms of x and y for the size and degrees of angle P to O to Q. It states that our expression must be given in its simplest form and we must give reasons for our answer. Why don't you give it a try and press pause if you need. Firstly, let's look at our circle theorem and add in an extra radius. From here you can see angle A to P to O is 90 degrees, A to S to O is also 90 degrees. This is because tangents meet the radius at 90 degrees. Now we can work out angle P to O to S. Well, you can see we have a quadrilateral. So 360 subtract our 90 subtract our 90, subtract our 2x, gives us an expression of 180, subtract the 2x. This is our angle P to O to S. This was found because we know angles in a quadrilateral sum to 360 degrees. Now we have an expression for P to O to S. Let's see if we can find an expression for Q to O to R. Just like before, I'm going to draw in another radius. This is because we can identify our angles C, 
QO to be 90 degrees and CRO to also be 90 degrees. This is because our tangents meet the radius at 90 degrees. Now from here you can see we have another quadrilateral. So we can work out angle Q to O to R. Simply 360, subtract our 90, subtract our 90, subtract our Y. This gives us an expression of 180 subtract Y. This is because angles in a quadrilateral sum to 360 degrees. So now we have two important angles. Angle P O to S and angle Q O to R. One of the most important pieces of information from this question is the fact that A, B, C, D is a kite. So therefore, we have a line of symmetry. And from our line of symmetry, we know P, B, Q is equal to S, D, R. Now, given we know tangents meet the radius at 90 degrees, we know O, R, D is 90 degrees, O, S, D is 90 degrees, B, P, O is 90 degrees, and B, Q, O is 90 degrees. Therefore, it's clear that angle P, O, Q is equal to angle S, O, R. Now, we can work out these angles by simply subtracting the other two angles from 360 degrees. So therefore, our angles S, O, R and POQ is equal to 360, subtract our 180 minus 2x, subtract our 180 minus y. To work this out, let's have a look at our numbers. 360, subtract 180, subtract 180 is nothing. Minus minus 2x is positive 2x. Minus minus y is positive y. So therefore we know angle SOR and angle POQ is equal to 2x plus y. Because we know these two angles are the same, to work out angle POQ, we simply divide by 2. So therefore, angle POQ is 2x plus y divided by 2. Now let's look at our last circle theorem, the alternate segment theorem. This means that the angle in the alternate segments are the same. You can see how I've colour-coded to show the equal angles in the alternate segment. Now let me demonstrate with some numbers. As you can see, I'm changing the angle at the circumference. Yet the angle in the alternate segments will always be the same. So let's look at the proof, proving why the alternate segments are the same. To do this, we'll be using two path circle theorems and an angle fact. So firstly, I'm going to draw a radius. Here you can see a circle theorem. The angle at the centre is twice the angle at the circumference. Now, you can also see another angle fact. Two radii have made an isosceles triangle. Lastly, you'll also be able to see the tangent meeting the radius at 90 degrees. So let's prove the alternate segment theorem by labelling this angle X. Given we know the radius meets the tangent at 90 degrees, we know this angle must be 90 minus X. As we have two radii, we're making an isosceles triangle. This means we know we have another angle which must also be 90 minus x. Therefore, to find the angle at the centre, we do 180 subtract 90 minus x subtract 90 minus x. Working this out, we have 180 minus 90 minus 90 is 0, minus minus x minus minus x gives us positive 2x. Therefore, we know the angle at the centre is 2x, so the angle at the circumference must be x. Here we've proven the alternate segment theorem. So now we have our last circle theorem. So let's apply it to a simple exam question. Here the question states, A, B, C are points on the circumference of a circle. 
the straight line PAQ is a tangent to the circle. We know angle PAC is 56 degrees and angle ACB is 75 degrees. We're asked to work out the angle marked X and give reasons for each stage of our working out. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. You may have been able to spot the alternate segment theorem, identifying that CBA is also 56 degrees because of our alternate segment theorem. Now we can work out angle X. We know 180 subtract our 75 subtract our 56 will give us angle X. Therefore, X is 49 degrees because we know angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees. So in summary, we've covered all of these circle theorems and this angle fact. In the next video, we will look at a selection of past exam questions from a range of these circle theorems, with some tips and hints to help you successfully answer a circle theorem exam question. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.